Now, the former president of the Musician Union of Ghana, that's Musica, and an NPP parliamentary aspirant for Asante Achim South, by Sosei Kufo, popularly known as Oboy, saying corruption allegations against him are born out of ignorance. Obo told Ozorai he would have sued Chris Waddle had it not been for the fact that he is in the heat of his campaign. The Asantia Chim South parliamentary seat on the ticket of the NPP, former Musica president Obo has publicly not enjoyed the best from his colleague musicians. Rapper Chris Waddle in a recent tweet asked his constituents not to vote for him, describing Obo as a waste of time and a stomach politician. At the time you announced your intentions to go into politics proper, from Ghanaians, from the musicians, food. There's been a lot of reactions. Some pleasant, some unpleasant. unpleasant. Chris Wado has asked the people of Santiago himself not to vote for you. According to him, you are not that kind of leader who will serve their interest. I mean, I, I think it's, it's an opinion, a very mere opinion. Unfortunately, I've never met Chris Wado. So for somebody who doesn't know you, to pass these comments about you is quite uh, something to really be, be, be behold. Instead of Chris Waddle and Co sitting on social media and criticizing, what stops them from going through music, going to music? I mean, as a musician, a bona fide member of the union, you have every right to have access to the union accounts. Look for the union's audited accounts. If you see any, you says any malfeasance, report it to the police. Let the due process be followed. Ghanaians are so used to just calling names, making insinuation, calling people names that they don't 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 they don't have to. You know, if it's not the fact that I was in the heat of my campaign, probably I would have sorted a legal option or a legal opinion. But hey, I feel strongly that from my background as a Christian, I, I believe that when, once you lead, these are the things that you must be prepared to face. Rapper D Black, also in a post, tagged Obo Greedy and challenged him to account for his time at Musica and how he managed their finances. That's not all. Veteran musician Jediblay Ambuli, in a separate interview, accused the immediate past president of the Musicians Union of Ghana, Musica, of using the office for visa racketeering. But Obo appears not overwhelmed by such allegations. The Konkon Tiba composer said he would rather focus on campaigning to win the Asante Achim South seat than to be distracted by such baseless allegations. Out of hate, you don't say things that put you in trouble because I have never given and I will never give money that is meant for the Musicians Union of Ghana to my friends. And then the music at the entire music office, all we do is visa racketeering. It's a shame. Is it? Of course, if you, you want to take him out, if you are music out personally, I mean, and set a record straight. Yeah, let, I mean, let, let have you consider that, have you you consider that option? I think when you are a leader, when you, there's, a, there's an adage that I love so much. They said, when you're on your way to kill an elephant for your community, you don't stop when the rats and grass cutters are passing your path. I am on a mission to do great things for this country, Ghana. And so I won't let comments by Ambuli and co take sway me off my focus. Obo is currently meeting delegates ahead of his party's April 25 primaries. The native of Jaboso downplayed concerns that the allegations will negatively affect his bid to be elected MP.